Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break, your home for current community talk, with Patricia Duart, Darlene Hayes, and Connie Wright. Hello, and welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break. Look what we've got. We're so excited. <laughs> we have a very special guest today, and welcome Marty Siegel, owner and founder of Marty's that opened up recently in downtown Hopkinton at the at the uh, CVS spot. Thanks for Cheers. being here. And look okay. at the yeah. treats. Look what we get. There we go. Cheers. Welcome to Hoppington. Welcome yeah. to Hoppington. Uh, Wonderful but, but, being here. But you didn't oh. start in Hoppington, so let's hear that story. Well, yeah, I think we're a celebrity because you have, Marty's has such a following, but it, it's not known to everybody. So I can't wait to hear your You'd story. Can you like to hear sort of a, a, a short story about yeah. my business yeah, life? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, I can't even sing it. So I, I, <laughs> I started working for my dad uh, back when, you know, uh, late teenager, um, uh, helping the, uh, the uh, delivery person do the deliveries on some of the large deliveries. And we had a store on the corner of Hobbit and Commonwealth Avenue. Back then it was called Macy's. Right. And it was a, you know, a good sized store back then. Um, actually when I started it was smaller. It became a bigger store after I, I was there for a while. And I added a lot of things in that store. I wanted to you know, get the approval of my father that I was doing something, bringing something to the plate, so to speak. Yeah. And it was important for me to do something that was unique that wasn't being done in the store. So I added great wines and uh, specialty foods mm -hmm. and had a great time doing it. So we, he, expand, he actually ended up buying the building at that time and expanding the store dramatically because of all the great ideas that I brought to his oh, attention. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's... It was a really, wow. Made yeah. your dad proud. Oh, yeah. Now, Newton yeah. is still the flagship. Uh, what's that? Newton is still your flagship. Newton, Newton is now the flagship. Okay. Because it, it goes, through a, goes through a cycle of a story. I don't know if you want to yep. hear no, all no, the details. Yes, 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 okay. so, um, so the store uh, in Alston was, number, it was the only store we had or I had. Uh, and my father retired in 1983. And I ended up as a part owner of the store, um, along with that building. So there was a realtor uh, that was uh, involved in it, but he wasn't involved in the business at all. He was basically right. an owner. A landlord, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He was an owner. And then the Newton store came up for sale, and uh, that used to be a Blanchard's location mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. Newton. And I was very excited about that because I used to date a young lady around the corner, and after I dropped her off, I'd go by the store and say, wow, is this store gorgeous. It was huge <laughs> back then. And who would have ever known, in my wildest imagination, I have a shot at buying the store. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. So uh, I got involved in that store and the building. And that store did very well. It just, just, w it just went way up there. Mm -hmm. Newton is a great location. Right. The other is a good location also, but it's a younger, younger crowd. Mm -hmm. I've been going to the Newton store for 20 years oh, for so like very specialty products and things sure, like that. Sure. And, um, I buy your coffee. <laughs> right. I've been hooked on it for years. It's actually really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. And now we have a two And I used to work right around the corner, so it was like I'd leave work and I would just hit it on the way home. So, um, and, and when's the last time you were there, if I may ask? Oh, God, probably three years. Okay, now we, we remodeled the whole, mm -hmm. we expanded the building and within about three and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. And it's all new in there. I mean, wow. everything is new. So we have a, an expanded uh, uh, specialty food area, which is incredible. Mm. Having great fun in there. So we have some really unique products. So we had the two stores, and uh, I would go between the two of them. And then uh, back in 1994, my partner and I had split up the guy that owned the property. Mm -hmm. Shut that off. Oh. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> Um, his pacemaker is going off. It's a felt into fibula. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> no, I'm really, I'm good really? health. It's <laughs> not. <laughs> the last show we had emergency Clear. preparedness here. So, no, uh, no, no. I'm kidding. Wow. So, yeah, so, uh, 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 so I, I was on my own completely at 1994 going forward and uh, having great fun. This was a labor of love. I, I, I don't do this for... You can tell. Your, yeah. your passion. I, I do this because of this is what I do. Mm -hmm. And I'm and I'm always hunting brand new products and exciting things 
to bring to my so customers. So where do you find the products? What is the wonderful world of internet today? It Ooh. used to be just word word to ear by by suppliers. I'm looking mm -hmm. for this. I'm looking for that. It's still somewhat of that also, but mm -hmm. the internet is incredible. The internet you can but find. You have such a following. I, I had I, never I, heard of Marty's until it opened up here in Hopkinton, uh -huh. and the folks in the know were like, "Oh God, my God, Marty's coming! Marty's is coming! coming. Marty's Marty's is coming. Is we're coming. like all Marty's. excited! I'm like what? No, uh, Marty's, Marty's is coming! You don't understand? <laughs> Marty's is coming! <laughs> 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 so you, yeah, you have but, quite the but, reputation. So, but t tell us, like, I just what is what is one maybe treasure that you found over the years that you were like, it was you know, hard to find or it has a story behind it. One, one like, of my most yes. recent finds that were all over and where have you ever heard of King Salmon from New Zealand? Yes, I have. Mm. Oh, I'm impressed. <laughs> uh, most of my customers have not. Is that what this is? Um, no, this is from Scotland. Okay. Because okay. this is smoked. The mm -hmm. King Salmon I'm selling are in eight ounce fillets, mm -hmm. boneless fillets, and it's from New Zealand. Which is special. And it's the finest, I think it's the finest salmon on the planet. Wow. Nothing oh. competes with it. As far as quality, I'm talking about freshness. The flavor is just amazing. So even getting it from New Zealand to Marty's has got to be a feat of wonder. Well, it comes from, <laughs> somebody imports it, mm -hmm. and, uh, and they brought it, it to my attention. The seafood mm -hmm. buyer of that company called me. He said, I got, a, got something interesting for you. He sent me a sample. I says, that is amazing. Well, you I talked a little bit about wild. what's on it's this. It's not farm. No. It's wild salmon. It's wild caught. Are uh, you talking about New Zealand? Yeah. Well, it's supposed to be no, that is farm. Oh, yours is farm. Oh, yeah. Well, the only I know the wild salmon. So now, no. see, now I don't know the wild salmon from New Zealand. You know, you're she teaching me. She is wild salmon. It's red <laughs> Right. She's a wild salmon. So, <laughs> here is where here is where farming can be better than wild, and I'll tell you why. Uh -uh. It's called the sea cage. It's very very large. It's in the middle of a fast-moving river that comes off the glacial melts in New Zealand in the high Alpine Alps. Icy cold waters moving at 7 to 13 knots at all times. Mm. Here you have fish that are in the cage, the, the, and it's a big cage, so don't feel bad for them. They're happy yeah. in there. Th there is a 97% I mean, water should, ratio. Why should we feel bad either? We don't feel bad when we put them in a tank in our house, but also <laughs> we feel bad if they're in a farm. Well, and you like know the whole controversy about farming versus wild. So this is good well, info in terms of... And this is interesting yeah. info. Here is where the atmosphere is controlled and not really not too much intervention by man at all, all woman. Um, they're fed the best quality feed money can buy and they produce the finest wow. salmon on the planet. Right. If it's wild, you really don't know where what it's they're been. eating. You don't know what they're eating, <laughs> right. and you don't, and and they could swim into maybe not such polluted good waters. waters. Right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely polluted waters. So do you have that salmon here in Hopkinton? Is we it available? Have, yes, it is, well, and it's stunning. I guarantee, and it's nineteen ninety nine a pound. <laughs> King salmon generally runs thirty to thirty five dollars yeah, a my, pound. My husband was the fishmonger at Wegmans. He's now in the produce department, and. He would talk, when I'd hear the prices of some of the stuff, I'm like, oh my God. And I, I've told him, I said, you know it's cheaper at Barney's? It's cheaper at Barney's? He goes, it can't be. Yeah. Because they're a small special. I'm like, it's yeah. cheaper at Barney's. It is. It is. You're right. It is. <laughs> you know, so, but, and I don't do it on purpose. It's right. just that people have different markups. Mar yeah, the margins and stuff. But yeah. you're such a community person, and that's what this is really all about, this um, show and this focus. And, and I, you're and I don't, part of our community and now. And I don't have stockholders I have to pay. There you go. It's yeah. only me, and I'd work for free. Yeah. I have uh, most of my <laughs> life I work for free. That's right. When you so, love what you do, you don't work a day in your life. Absolutely. So one of the things I've right. mentioned to Rachel, who's actually an amazing manager you have, and so is Jason, but the, um, is the amount of products that are made local and made in Massachusetts you feature. And products that have actually been featured on Chronicle and things like that. I mean, my daughter loves the Trappistine fudge. And I yes. guess nuns yeah. came into your Newton store to sell it. I have that. Yeah, that's yeah. where we get yeah. it. We get yeah. it from you. Great stuff. <laughs> stuff. But I mean, you know, the nun, you know, the, and then you also have their beer, the Trappist beer and all that. And Black like, food. I yeah, I love your, your store manager, Rachel, who we have to give a shout out to, who's awesome. Yes. Who gives us updates on Dom's Meats. I mean, Dom, D-O-M. And I'm like, and what? And Dom's has been around forever. I mean, yeah. it was a, it's a deli in Medford. I didn't that's know right. that. And, but it's, you know. The Delicious way, product. Wait, wait, here's a local. Uh, Delian. Method. In method. <laughs> Met yeah, my, fam I my family actually is, um, owns Arcadi and Boarding. So, um, uh, who owns? Part of her family. Arcadi? Yeah. Oh, I love Arcadi. Do you know how long I've been doing business with them? 
40 years. <laughs> and they are the nicest people I have ever met in my so life. So Anthony, Joanne, Haskell are all our cousins. Oh, I know. Uh, oh, look at this, what you call a small, small world. world. So, uh, you know, like I'll used to be nice to everybody. It's it's okay. Okay. <laughs> you never you know. Never you know. know. So you've been in the family showroom and things like that. <laughs> wow. And so, so um, you know, the, so I understand like these products brought around the world, but then seeing like, you know, watch Chronicle, then walk down your aisle and see. Oh, there's that, there's that, there's well, that. Well, you know, and some ones that are very small boutique, like Mac the McCree's um, yes. Carmel's oh, that I were featured on, you know, Carmel. Yep. And they're trying, you know, and it's, even the packaging is so upscale and so nice. Love it. And you know, his was a, gr a great story. And the fact that you carry all this local, and of course I'm a chocoholic. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. So, yeah. And then um, we get some good stuff. I yeah, think I do. think even incorporating some products that are Hockington based. I mean, yes. we have Katie Cakes here, who's now you know starting a local is organic starting, Hopkinton baker is starting to get involved with you. But I I learned from Rachel when um mm -hmm. I was actually buying her boyfriend a present. And um, he loves limoncello, which these cupcakes are actually made in his uh, honor. But um, I went in to get a limoncello, and she said, oh, we have this one, or we have this one. She goes, but this one's owned by a family in Hockington. I'm like, well, then I'm taking that one. <laughs> right. And, you know, and to, like, you know, realize that that is really embracing a lot of things in the community. You guys have gotten involved in a lot already. Yeah. And... Um, we just got a love big, having you here. We're open arms to most, and most of the vendors big, that come in. And you've got a big party tomorrow. We do? Oh. On the twenty fourth. Oh, your party! Yes, yeah. your yes. party, the grand opening. So twenty fourth, grand of right. the, yeah. the, the so, Marty's in Hamilton. Right. Um, so the um, I thought they were talking the, about my party that I'm having. Uh, that's that's last week. <laughs> that was last week, baby. Um, so the um, <laughs> you know, oh, I get uh, it. Right. So now I understand. <laughs> I you know. Me yeah. too. You and I are on the, the same boat. The, the time lapse. The time lapse. The time lapse. The convo. So the challenge. I know that, you know, a mutual friend of all of ours, Tim Levitt, is going to be playing music there. And yeah. you're going to love him. Really? Um, but He's really talented. Oh, wow, wow. You, know, I, you know, Rachel was telling me there's going to be, like, food sampling outside, spirits and wine and beer inside. Tony from McCarty is going to be there, I'm, I'm pretty sure. That's your salesman, though. That's, that's, not, right. that's not Anthony. Not Anthony, no. Yeah. Not Anthony. So all that will be, we'll have that posted to so you. So a lot of these, you know, are foods from, like, all over. This coming. looks so yummy. So let's talk about what is presented oh here, because this is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, all right, we, 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 have, we have Scottish smoked salmon. That's St. James Scottish smoked salmon from Scotland. Mm -hmm. And that one happens to be uh, carroted with um, pastrami seasoning. Mm -hmm. So it almost has a flavor of... Yeah. Salmon and, and pastrami. Oh, oh Darlene's well, gonna dig in. in already. Yeah. Well, you got a little here, cheese over it. here. You can put a little cheese in there. It's got dill and capers. <laughs> yes. Yum. Yummy, yummy. And then you were telling us that before the show started about this special um, sliced meat over that here. That sliced meat there, that's uh, the sausage meat of the Iberico Balada, which is a. Uh, it looks a like super sada. It does. Well, you have to taste it. Yeah. This uh -huh. is like considered. All right, all right. I did. I love it. it. Just let it melt in your mouth. It's a, it's a product of. Oh my Spain. God! This is delicious. Now the ham itself. Oh, by the way, stuff I'm digging Scotland, in. Yeah. By the way, guys. Um, Excuse mm. my reach. So while we're oh, like right. digging in, I'm oh. like one thing that I thought was that really show me. One of the things I've actually learned about Marty's is that you actually have some private exclusive labeling, and both of these are actually part of your private labeling. Oh my God! And this one I'm actually hooked on. This that is a very mm. nice Sauvignon Blanc, and it's Abigail, like 10 bucks. Abigail Rose is my granddaughter's name. Oh. That's where that comes from. That's so awesome. Yep. This is a scrumptious. It is good. Mm. Really good. Mm. It does melt in your mouth. This is seriously good. So what actually had you attracted to come to Hockington? I mean, we know there was a building I'm open and things like my that. My son had... Uh, he was, I don't even know where he found out about it. He said, hey, Dad, there's a license available, and it's in a, <laughs> a, going to be in a, a new constructed building, and uh, it's right in the middle of Hoppington. I said, Hoppington is great because that everybody knows it across the nation right. for being the beginning of the race. Every, that's right. Mm -hmm. Guys are famous. Right. I mean, it's yeah, always the right, beginning, not so. the finish line, you know? It's like <laughs> right. Hey. It all starts here. That's right. <laughs> Now, are you looking for another spot beyond Hoppington, or is Hoppington, like, really your third? Ho Hoppington is good. No, we're, we're looking for other good locations as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. We started to expand ourselves at this mm -hmm. point. Well, we are so glad you're so here. So your son spots the location, goes, yep. hey, Dad, this looks good. Yeah, and we as came I'm down and we looked at it. You gave me a ride down. I said, this, this looks great. I says, uh, I, think, uh, I think the people... You know, we'll be happy that we're here. Yes. 
<laughs> oh, we are. You know, and, and I bumped into people, you know, when I was in the store, I bumped into people, oh, I shopped at Monty's for years in Newton. Right, right, right. So, I mean, you know, you know it's, and that's how we, you know, and Newton we knew was going to be successful for us because... You were taking over Blanchard's. We were taking over so Blanchard's. So you already had a client base. There was a client base, and a lot of our better customers came from the Newton, Wellesley, and Western area so, into Alston because of what we had there. Right. And so this is a natural... And now mm -hmm. you're picking up Ashland, Hockington, Holliston, right. Southboro, right. and probably a little mm -hmm. bit of Westboro. Um, and I think actually I know a couple of Upton families that come out just to shop at Marty's. That's, that's, that's what makes my day, the comments like that. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, oh, I love this store. This is great. Thank you very much. That's it. I'm, I'm all set. I mean, I like when you go in there, and I, don't, you know, and I know like Jason and Rachel know who we are. But I'm in there picking up something little, and there's you know a customer in front of us, and I'm watching both of them know the client's name, say okay, you know here, you know, uh, you know, one person was older, had a case of stuff. Let me help you to the car, and I'm like, that extra niceties and creature comforts are huge and so nice to have. We'll yeah, always we, have that. You guys are always helpful. I can go in there and say I'm looking for this, or this is kind of what I like, and they've, you guys have always been helpful. I do want to come back to the food because yeah. it's not only what you can buy in the store, but you guys will do party platters and you will oh, do yes. arrangements. Yes. And, um, and I'm getting one uh, for all the event I'm hosting. So, <laughs> you know. all, all custom made and gift baskets and boxes. Oh, all yeah, that'll be fun for yeah, we don't We don't pre make them. Okay. Um, you tell us, you either call me on the phone and say, I have a theme, or you pick it out. This is my budget. And mm -hmm. it comes out beautiful every yeah. single time we, I put in there. I can't personally. wait to post pictures of my platter. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yes. I'm excited. <laughs> this is very exciting. I mean, I think some of the neat things too I've seen is <clears throat> how much you're getting involved in the community, um, whether it's Rachel or Jason or yourself, and coming all the way out here. I know that you are dedicated to the Newton store, and so to come out here is a hike on a on a busy Friday. It was only a. 30 minute trip. Yeah, um, people think it's far, but it's I not mean, that far. Oh, no, it's not. You know, that you guys do, that you know, this private wine tasting's already going on, yep. working, you know, private farm to table parties. Mm -hmm. You know, coming up, there's a, um, a business expo at the Hockney Cultural Arts. Marty's is actually going to help coordinate it and do all the liquor for it. Oh, that's mm -hmm. great. And, that's you know, great. and then the, a week later, we're doing something with Hank Phillippe Ryan at a bank and again Marty's is coming in with all yeah. the wine and the service and it's been <laughs> something where you have really embraced you know whether it's the chamber the community and me you know and knowing you know that's so focus. important in terms of well, solidifying and I'm just saying you know when we were all you know sad to see our, our beloved store Colella's close and move on and then the whole CVS thing and while you're not like the full service grocery store it's the place to go for you can get dinner last minute certainly your really your refreshment your party foods, foods yep. your wine your craft beers my son who's a craft beer lover you know at 25 years old he um, you know is just wow what a selection I mean you know just great stuff it's well, really if you haven't been in you gotta go we've well, been there nine months and we're working out what's gonna sure. fit and what's gonna be good and we're playing with it. We're we're building the selection as we speak. That's the yeah, process. I think yeah. people are, and I think it's people have been very much embracing the doms. Yeah. The oh, doms. Yeah. oh yeah. <laughs> um, well, and I do want to repeat that you are having your grand opening tomorrow, twenty fourth, and right. it's going to be from twenty fourth, right? Yep. Yep. Tomorrow, t from two to five, there's live music. They're, they're, they have grills going. It'll they have all sorts of stuff happening. Going to be a party. Um, Marty's going to be there. You can actually gonna sign autographs exactly. and things oh, like that. Yeah. You can actually get you can get, you can get your you can get your selfie with Marty oh, while you're sampling Marty. wine. Exactly. The and wines and stuff that are being poured are any of them going to be from your um, select labels? I think I think a lot of them that will be poured there will be from our importing and distributing company. Okay. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I, I know you guys. Okay. Um, have Atlantic Importing in Framingham. Yep. And um, and both of these wines are distributed through that yeah. mm -hmm. through that company. And we, we, we put a lot, the same effort that goes into the store goes into the importing company. Mm -hmm. We select it for quality and mm -hmm. price structure. But quality has to be first. Because if it isn't good, we don't want to sell it. We're mm -hmm. not going to put our name on it. Yeah. yeah. Well, and, and I like that about you guys. You are all about customer service and quality. It's yep. a gold standard. It's mm -hmm. a high bar. Yeah. It's a, but you know, yet it's, it's affordable. Like exactly, it's um, right. not. It, it's quality at a great price point. Yeah. It's Absolutely. not about the margin. It's about the quality, 
Right. You, you do the right thing, and it'll come eventually. And you keep yeah. and the you people come back. Yeah. That's right. The and other great thing you have about your reputation is your organization as a business, as an employer, that people yes. love working with you, for you, and, and I'm an organizational development person, and that's music to my that's ears huge. in terms of why, why that, that's a secret sauce. But tell me a little bit about this because I'm just a geek for it. How, how large is your organization? How many employees? You know? Oh, that's a good question. That's a wrap. Uh, Ish. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Ish. Uh, in the retail, yeah. probably about 70 people. Okay. Great. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Excellent. And, and I'm a, a believer that um, quality organizations reflect the tone at the top. Absolutely. And so, you know, do you have a few things about one business philosophy and when you, you know, your, I know a lot of your family's involved too, but what are some um, of your key, you know, your son's very involved now. My son is involved. Well, he fought Hopkinton, so I mean, if it wasn't for Sean, we yeah. wouldn't right. be here. <laughs> and, you know, exactly. we wouldn't be eating like Scott and Sam. And yeah. it did the <laughs> Thank you, Sean. <laughs> Sean, you know, there was a spot here, you didn't come. <laughs> Sean is over in Germany right now, oh. visiting the new collaboration uh, brewery with Stone. Now, Stone is one of the beers that we distribute mm -hmm. uh, at Atlantic, and he has gone to. If he nice. ever wants a travel partner, I speak fluent German. I lived there for a oh, little bit. Oh, nice, yet. nice. If he ever wants, <laughs> I'll go. Well, you're going to love all the stuff we got coming in. Oh, we have wow. our, our big load comes in from uh, Brandt Importers, and that for is all, Fest, all, the, yeah. all, all the German foods, all oh. the way through Christmas. Oh, the yeah. Stolens, the, the, the chocolates, mm. the on and on and on. So we'll have a huge cool. display Very cool. in Newton. We will have some of that in Hoppington, whatever fits. Mm -hmm. We'll be out there. Right. Yep. We'll pick out the best of everything there and get it over yeah. to uh, Rachel. Yeah. Right, Rachel? Yeah. <laughs> we love Rachel. 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 Hey, Rachel. Hey, Rachel. So the, um, but what is your time? You know, what, talk about your philosophy. And you say you want, you want to work at a place where you enjoy. It's not working, but... but have you thought about that as far as you being the, the, the head honcho? Um, Maybe so intuitive and ingrained it's hard to pull out, but. Do the right thing. Right. Just do, the right thing. do the right thing. Do the right thing. Got to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. you know, it is so simple, at some isn't point. It? it is simple. Mm -hmm. When your dad had it, it wasn't called Marty's. No, it was called Macy's. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that was, he was. And it, there was a Macy's in uh, West Roxbury, too. That's right. Yeah. And that was his brother's store. Okay. Uh -huh. So they used that name to give it that chain. Feeling, mm -hmm. and they were a change, so right. to speak, as far as the buying. Uh, was but together. the difference of going to like a Macy's or going into a Cappy's or things like that is the fact that you don't feel like you're just going in to buy a 12 pack of beer. You know, you it's and it is a customer. So it is you feel like you've gone to a destination. It's a little bit more than that. Right. Okay. And um, it's warm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's some place where like I'll look around. I mean, one day Rachel posted up, um, you know that you guys are very involved in Real Housewives and things like that, and she posted up all the um, seasonal pumpkin brews. Mm -hmm. And like, we're like, keep the shit. And she's like, we have no control. But you know, <laughs> you, that the, um, <clears throat> the community is really like, can you get this? Can you get this? So she, you know, people are putting it in there. And Rachel's like, I was able to order that. I was able to order that because you know, getting input very of what responsive. people like and things oh, like that. That's and what that, it's all about. And that makes it, you know. And oh. we're proud to have that platform where we can. The community engagement is so immediate. Doing and that so there. Years, people yeah. come in. Can you get this? I write it down. I write down their name and phone number. I research it. Then very often I'll say, you know, that's a good item. We're going to carry that completely. Yeah. I mean, for the shelf in the store. And I call a customer, thank you very much. It's in, if you like it, it's here for you. All the time, do that all the time. A, a perfect example, and we mentioned, but um, Katie Cakes, the Katie, Katie cakes, cakes that you are now offering as well. Mm -hmm. and, um, Our local, local organic yep. baker, Kate you know, O'Connell. recently relocated from the Caribbean and does all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah, this is cool. our stuff is yeah, awesome. Yeah. Right. That's so it's great. really right in the caliber with everything that you're doing here. Sure. And I think, you know, in time you guys will be doing some special orders with Katie and things like mm -hmm. that, which is kind of cool. Um, right now she's doing some, you know, private things and it's 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 a it's a neat fit and it's it's also neat to see the limoncello from someone from Hopkington, <laughs> seeing things made in mass and it's just it's a local honey yeah. that they carry that's that's yeah. like that's something too, our Woodville, um, you know, 
we have uh, bees and honey and, and syrup that's made right here in Hopkinton from a local Woodville maple. Oh, that would be great. Oh, they're, they're awesome. I want to be sure we leave enough time for any shout outs or mentions for the uh, community activities coming Well, a big up. community activity tomorrow is at Marty's. <laughs> so go to the two to four. Um, I, I do want to talk again, um, and I'll be bringing it up again over and over again, is the first ever Hopkins Chamber of Commerce Business and Creative Arts Expo that will be at um, the Cultural Arts on the 18th. Um, Unibank will be celebrating their first anniversary on October 25th. This is actually co-branded with Real Housewives of Hoppington. Marty's. And this, yeah. no, no, not Marty's. Um, oh, the, 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 uh, the event at Unibank. Okay. And yes. um, this will feature um, the um, journalist and author, Hank Philippi Ryan from Boston. Now that's a big get. And um, <laughs> Marty's will be doing free sampling, free wine tasting and education. Hank Philippi Ryan will be talking about her books her experience and stuff like that. Get to meet her. And um, those are really two big things coming up that also embraces Marty's and our community. And so if you have a local business and want to get involved, you can reach out to me, you can reach out to the chamber, mm -hmm. get a table at the um, Cultural Arts Benefit. Um, we'll be posting up and setting up an event page on Real Housewives in regards to the event at Unibank. It is celebrating their one year anniversary, but it is very much an event focused on women. Mm -hmm. and her role in life and um, the first book she had is called what you see mm -hmm. so and this and her second book will be released november 1st but she'll have this first book there talking about it and it's basically her walk in life as a woman in journalism as a leader and how it goes from there. i can't wait out there a little bit is the library's hoptober fest Hop. that's coming up as well yeah in that same time frame mm -hmm. get your so, tickets that thing sells out if yeah. it's a party yeah and you can yeah. get those through like the library foundation but um I yeah. think the biggest thing going on is tomorrow, head over to Marty's and, and you know, it, you know and it's you fall too time, can have so you know, goodies. go get some apple picking mm -hmm. and some other things going on. Um, you know, there's high school sports going on and um, get you know, out there and get is getting Great ready season. for a fall run um, around Halloween. So there's yeah. a lot going on and um, cool. We'll see. Yeah. So we're going to dig in and thank you so You're much very for being welcome. here. Thanks Enjoy for this. Marty brought lunch. Wonderful spread. <laughs> We've got yeah. lunch going here. This is good. Yeah. Uh, thank you so thank much. You. Thanks all and, for being and here. And cheers again to Marty's. Yeah. Congratulations. And Congrats. thank you for coming, Honestly, thank you for coming to Hoppington. Absolutely. Thank Thanks for, for having watching. Me. You See you it. soon. It was fun. Thank you. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get in a $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you.